presence of the series x plus 2 square x square divided by 2 factorial plus 3 cube x cube divided by 3 factorial plus 4 raised to 4 x raised to 4 divided by 4 factorial plus etc infinity we have the general nth term given by n raised to n into x raised to n divided by n factorial because the factorial term in the denominator the power appearing in the numerator and the first number in the numerator are all the same for every time. Therefore, the general nth term for the series will be n raised to n into x raised to n divided by n factorial where x is only a variable. Looking at the expression of un, we can write the expression of un plus 1 by just replacing every n in the expression of un by n plus 1. Wherever n appears in the expression of un, we will replace it by n plus 1 to obtain un plus 1. We know that when we consider the ratio un by un plus 1, the denominator of un plus 1 will become the numerator for the ratio un by un plus 1. That is, we just have to multiply the reciprocal of the expression un plus 1 to un to obtain the ratio un by un plus 1. So we have the ratio in this format n plus 1 factorial of un plus 1 will appear in the numerator for the corresponding ratio n plus 1 the whole raised to n plus 1 and x raised to n plus 1 will appear as the denominator for the ratio un by un plus 1 now we group the terms which are having similar fashion we have n raised to n and n plus 1 the whole raised to n plus 1 have same fashion similarly n plus 1 factorial and n factorial have same fashion we have x raised to n and x raised to n plus 1 have same fashion we know that we can write n plus 1 factorial as n factorial into n plus 1 because n plus 1 factorial is product of n plus 1 terms ranging from 1. That is n plus 1 factorial equals 1 into 2 into 3 into etc. n into n plus 1 which can also be written as n factorial into n plus 1 so that we can easily cancel n factorial from both numerator and denominator. Now x raised to n plus 1 using the exponential law can be written as x raised to n into x therefore we can easily cancel x raised to n from both numerator and denominator and we are left out with 1 by x we have n plus 1 the whole raised to n plus 1 also using exponential law written as n plus 1 the whole raised to n into n plus 1 therefore we have 1 n plus 1 left out in the denominator also 1 n plus 1 left out in the numerator from where we had simplified n plus 1 factorial so these two n plus 1 factorial terms appearing in the numerator and denominator can again be cancelled. Now we have similar power for n and n plus 1. Therefore we have n by n plus 1 the whole raised to n. If we divide numerator and denominator of this expression by n, we have 1 by 1 plus 1 by n the whole raised to n. To which when we apply the limit, limit n tends to infinity, we know that by standard limit, this particular limit attains the value e. Since this standard expression is appearing in the denominator, the answer for limit n tends to infinity un by un plus 1 will be 1 by e multiplied with 1 by x to which we cannot apply limit because it is independent of n. So the final answer for the limit n tends to infinity applied on the ratio un by un plus 1 is 1 by e x. By ratio test, we have whenever this limiting value is greater than 1, the series will converge. Therefore, when 1 by Ex is greater than 1, the given series will converge. Or we can say that when x less than 1 by E. This is because you can cross multiply x to the RHS. Then you are left out with 1 by E in the LHS. From where you get the inequality, the given series is convergent for x less than 1 by E. So we write the conclusion, we have the given series convergent for x less than 1 by e and the given series will surely be divergent for x greater than 1 by e at x equals 1 by e. We don't have a conclusion so we have to depend on some other test. We shall depend on logarithmic test because whenever the ratio un by un plus 1 after application of limits we obtain e as one of its expressions or one of its term then we shall be applying the logarithmic test or if you feel that the answer for limit n tends to infinity un by un plus 1 can be made more easier by taking logarithm in that case also you shall apply logarithmic test 
according to lockdown test we have when we are given a positive term cd summation un and we evaluate limit n tends to infinity n logarithm on the ratio un by un plus 1 and we obtain the limit as k whenever k is greater than 1 the given series will converge and whenever k is less than 1 the given series will diverge and at k equal to 1 this test also cannot give us any conclusion and it's a failure so here we have un by un plus 1 equals e divided by 1 plus 1 by n the whole raised to n when we substitute x equals 1 by e for the ratio un by un plus 1 we have x equals 1 by e when applied 1 by x will become e by 1 so un by un plus 1 before application of limit will look like e divided by 1 plus 1 by n the whole raised to n that is why at x equals 1 by e when we evaluate un by un plus 1 we have the expression e divided by 1 plus 1 by n the whole raised to n when we take log on both sides for this expression un by un plus 1 we have log un by un plus 1 equals log e minus n times log 1 plus 1 by n. This is because log of a by b can be written as log a minus log b. And a log b is equal to log b the whole raised to a. Or when logarithm is applied on b raised to a, it becomes a log b according to the laws of logarithm. We have log e replaced by 1 because logarithm is the inverse function of exponential function. Therefore, log e equals 1. We have a standard equation for log 1 plus x which is x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus etc. We have alternate signs for the expansion of log 1 plus x. Since we are having x equals 1 by n in our ratio un by un plus 1, we replace x by 1 by n on both LHS and RHS of this expression and we have this expression for log 1 plus 1 by n. Now we evaluate n times log 1 plus 1 by n which is equal to n times this expression. Since n is common to every denominator, when we multiply n to each numerator, it gets reduced to the form 1 minus 1 by 2n plus 1 by 3n square minus etc. So, we have the expression log e minus n log 1 plus 1 by n, which is actually logarithm of un by un plus 1, rewritten as log e replaced by 1 and n log 1 plus 1 by n can be replaced by this expression. 1 and 1 get cancelled and finally we obtain log un by un plus 1 equals 1 by 2n minus 1 by 3n square plus etc. When we apply limit n tends to infinity to n times log un by un plus 1 according to the logarithmic test we have log n tends to infinity applied over n times this final expression. So again you can cancel n which is common to every numerator and n which is appearing in denominator of every term. After cancellation of n which is common to both numerator and denominator we have now limit n tends to infinity applied over 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3n plus etc. Apart from this first term all other terms will be having n in the denominator. Therefore, when you apply limit n tends to infinity to 1 by n or 1 by n square or etc. We have all those values becoming 0 after application of limit. And to 1 by 2 we cannot apply limit or when we try to apply limit on this constant term it remains the same. Therefore, the final answer for limit n tends to infinity applied on n times log un by un plus 1 will be half. Since half is less than 1. By logarithmic test, we will conclude that the given series is divergent for x equal to 1 by e. Therefore, the given series is convergent only for x less than 1 by e and for x greater than or equal to 1 by e, the given series is divergent.